Welcome to Ethiopia. So we've just arrived in Ethiopia. I can't find my flight on the board. It's not on there for some reason. I don't know why. They start off with 8.15 in the morning flights. Mine's 8.05 in the morning, so I don't know what is going on. But we'll go and have a look round. I've got about an hour and 15 minutes before my flight's meant to leave. I've got the gate that it's meant to leave from, so it's not too bad. A great airport for leather goods, this place. It is chocker with leather, leather products. The duty-free prices are pretty good as well. Cigarette prices aren't too bad. I think it's about $20 for a sleeve of cigarettes. And the leather goods are quality, proper quality. So we'll go and have a little look, see what we can see in it. I'll have to be fairly fast because I need to go and find um, need to go and find out where I'm meant to be going, don't I? Make sure my flight's right and I don't miss it. I don't want to miss my flight and be stuck in Ethiopia. So I'll just give you a little look around so you can see what's here. Big airport. I think it's like the biggest aeroplane company in Africa, Ethiopia Airlines. Look at all this leather stuff here. Not cheap, but good quality, like very, very nice quality. It's a nice bag, I like that. Probably about $200, $250 though. I did check the prices a couple of weeks ago when I was here. They've got a Burger King and a pharmacy. I went in the Burger King last time I was here. I thought, ah, oh, grab a burger, that'll save me a few quid. $25 or something for a Burger King meal. Unbelievable. So I ended up going to Pizza Hut and getting a small pizza, which was about the size of my hand. And that still cost me about $18, I think. Call me a tight ass if you like. I just don't like spending too much money when I don't need to. Especially in places where you're trapped, where you can't spend your money. No, when you're trapped, you, obviously you, you've got to spend your money, haven't you? In places where you've got to spend your money. But here, I generally don't try not to spend too much if I can. But I might grab some duty-free whiskey. I did look in um, the UK and I took a gamble that it'd be just as cheap to buy it here. So I've got the UK prices, I'll buy some whiskey for my mate's hotel. Obviously, you can sell it to pretty much any bar or any hotel. Um, bottle of whiskey, a good quality bottle of Johnny Walker or something, double black or something. So that's what I tend to do. Just grab a couple of bottles. It, it's like the flights are 800 quid, aren't they? So it knocks like 30, 40 dollars off the flight. It's not so bad. So I'll go and have a look how much the whiskey is in a minute. Check that out. Check it out here. There's a Johnny Walker here. Thirty-eight dollars for the Johnny Walker. Nineteen dollars for the Red Label. This Gold Reserve is good as well to make profit. Sixty-seven dollars for a bottle of Golden Reserve. Nice. Look at this. Thirty-nine dollars for a Kinder Surprise egg thing. That's way way to throw your money away, isn't it? There's the cigarettes. One day there'll be no cigarettes, maybe. Benz and Hedges, 24 bucks. All the Chinese cigarettes. Go and have a look up here, see what's up here. Cast sports, jewelry shops, empty shops. Got a good, good selection of stuff. If you're not bothered about spending a bit of cash here, they've got a good selection of restaurants and bars, stuff like that. Six dollars for a small Heineken beer, though, about 30 cents a litre beer. That's where I went last time, that pizza hut there. The small pizza is so small, it's ridiculous.
this carving place looks nice here. I seen some lovely food here on the tables last time I went past. But again here, like it's a, bit, a burger, like this burger here is 20, 20 dollars or something. So it's a lot of dollar, I think, for a burger. Maybe I'm just not used to the prices going up and um, seeing the prices rise. It's been a, being away for so many years in Madagascar. I haven't caught up with the price, price infl inflation. Who knows? What I do know is I need to head to gate C8. Maybe on this board, my flight will be on this board, maybe. But it's not on the main board. Gold Lounge, Shiba Gold, Cloud 9. Oh, it's nice for going and relaxing, getting a drink, a bit of food, chill out. Don't know how much it is to pay the extra. Maybe I'll look into it. Like my mate keeps going on at me to do it. Oh, there it is. It's on the board. They changed it. Oh, it's gone again. I think they changed it to 8:50. Must be running a little bit late. Let's have a look. Where is it? gone page one beyond the next page there it is Antanarivo 850 C8 scheduled on time that's good okay 850 I can deal with that so there you go that's um, that's Ethiopia airport for you I'll leave it there and I shall see you in the next video when I'm in Madagascar thanks for watching give us a like give us a sub see you in the next channel